Unit six was uh, the unit circle. Uh, Sokotoa, triangles. What do we remember? Pi over sixes always will be 30 degrees away from the x-axis. If this is pi, we would add uh, angles start at zero and we add going counterclockwise. We would subtract going clockwise. Pi over threes are at 60 degrees. We did this a lot, okay? Hopefully we are refreshing some of our skills that maybe we lost or relearning it. Really, the question is which one of these is in quadrant one? So there's some point P. Um, what is this? 12 pi over 6 plus pi over 6. So 12 pi over 6 is the same as 2 pi plus pi over 6. So that's in quadrant one. Where are these um, angles going to be located? So that's going to be close to 12 pi over 4. 12 pi over 4 plus pi over 4. 12 pi over 4 is 3 pi, so that's 1, 2, 3 pi plus pi over 4. This is going to be in quadrant 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. 11 pi over 3 is 12 pi over 3 minus a pi over 3. 12 pi over 3 is 4 pi. 1, 2, 3, 4 pi, but then minus a pi over 3 would be in quadrant 4 with a um, reference angle of 60 degrees. 11 pi over 2 is going to be on a y-axis. If you want to do, you could do 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. You do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pi over 2s. But that's like the bottom y-axis. Okay. All right, and the key to trigonometry is all about scaling right triangles. We start with right triangles that we know of say a 45, 45, 90 triangle. These are the ratios of sides. If the hypotenuse is one, this is why we use the unit circle. We keep the hypotenuse as one. And then if we want to scale things because triangles, right triangles with the same angles are gonna be similar, we would just scale it by using a multiplier. I'll multiply everything by nine. Now, if I wanted to find coordinates of point Q. If this is an isosceles triangle, this side length and this side length are the same, uh, which means this side length is going to be the same, which means this is going to be half of it. This is a little bit deceiving because, I mean, it doesn't have to be the same. This is a right angle. So if that is a right angle, we're going to probably split it in half. So this is 45 degrees and this is 45 degrees. So we are talking about a 45, 45, 90 triangle, which is at a pi over 4. If this is pi and we're talking about point Q, we're going to add a pi over 4. This is 4 pi over 4 add a pi over 4, and this is going to be 5 pi over 4. Uh, the coordinates are going to be the x length, comma, the y length. The x length is going to be the cosine of your angle. If this was a unit, uh, tri uh, unit circle, since this is of a circle radius 9, we are going to scale it. And our y length will be that. I'm trying to think of another way. If this is isosceles, I think you have to know that this is a right angle. Or you know that this is 9, this is 9, this would be 9 root 2. Split that in half, nine halves root two. 
two over two, nine over two over two, which is uh, your side lengths of your 45, 45, 90, uh, scaled by nine. I don't know. You're probably already done with this. All right, we got this theta measurement between zero and pi over two. And then we got another angle measurement that is bigger than theta, but less than pi over two. Okay, so it's important to kind of make sure you read that and make sure you know what it means. You have this theta, then you have this alpha that is bigger than theta. So think about uh, trigonometry. Sine, opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse. The sine of alpha is bigger than the sine of theta. The sine of alpha is bigger than the sine of theta. But the cosine of theta is bigger than the cosine of alpha, cosine being adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine of theta is bigger than the cosine of alpha. OK, you'll see there's more. Uh, I mean, there's not that many uh, multiple choice that we found on unit six. So I don't know. I think, um, who knows, maybe like the unit circle is just not that big in AP pre-calculus. I can't believe that's true. Uh, however, we practiced and we gave you plenty of problems back in the day. And we'll see more problems on the second day's homework. But I don't know. It's just like. Maybe we won't see much from unit six, or maybe they're going to test you by solving trig equations so that you can go backwards. We'll find out. That's six.